So my name is Dawn Knuff. I was born and raised in Barrie and have lived in Simcoe County my entire life. I am a mentor through the organization called CANAF, which is the Canadian Alopecia Arietta Foundation that supports um, anyone who's affected with alopecia. So alopecia is an autoimmune disease. It causes your body to go against any of your hair follicles, almost like a disease. So um, you could lose your hair, eyelashes, eyebrows, um, you can have just spots lost on your head. For me, I have alopecia universalis, which is the, I guess, the biggest type of alopecia. So I have no hair technically from my head to my toe. So I lost all of my hair within a week when I was seven years of age. I remember waking up every morning and there was hair all over my pillow and my mom having to come in and vacuum that. So it was quite, uh, it happened really fast for me. Um, others have different types of journeys, but I lost all of it very fast within one week and it has never come back. Uh, so we're going on now, I want to age myself, we're going about 37 years of having no hair. So growing up, it was a lot of bullying in high school and um, even kind of early 20s. And now though, I've really embraced it. I would say that my kids have really helped support me and tell me that I'm beautiful. It's really, it's great to hear when your kids say, mom, you're beautiful with or without hair, it doesn't matter. Um, so I've really now kind of embraced myself as a human being and, and accepted alopecia. And what that's brought me is just opening the doors to so many, meeting other people that have embraced it as well. And even supporting those that are kind of still in their beginning stages of their journey. Like I said, growing up, um, there wasn't a lot of education out there about alopecia. A lot of people assumed because I didn't have any hair that I was dealing with cancer. Um, so, oh, she's sick. Um, when I was younger, I couldn't afford, wigs are expensive. I couldn't, well, I couldn't afford, my mom couldn't afford um, as a sole support parent, like purchasing any wig. So I, growing up, only wore a bandana. So it was very visible that I did not have hair um, and really got bullied in regards to that. Um, now I can see a great shift in regards to supporting those individuals and your individuality and how you look. Um, and you're correct, social media. So I am on social media and I um, am modeling and showcasing myself with hair as well as without hair and embracing different styles of wigs, different colors, and even going to work. One day I'll have long hair, one day I'll have short hair, and just really embracing that I can showcase who I am through different types of wigs or without hair, so either way. Yeah, so CANAF actually originated back in 2008 with two parents who um, had children affected with alopecia and they wanted to really um, get that support system out there for people that, you know, were dealing with alopecia. Um, and I met them back in 2008 and in 2009 the first meeting of board of directors for CANAF met and in um, 2010 CANAF became a nonprofit organization. And so for myself growing up, there was no CANAF at that time, so the support system, trying to meet other people, kids, adults, anyone who was affected with alopecia, um, there wasn't really a lot out there. And so it's great to see that there's now like an organization, they meet, they do support groups online, in person. The board of directors have now grown outside of just, you know, um, Greater Toronto, there's British Columbia board of directors and things like that. So CANAF has really grown to support, because you know, it's not just one person that's affected with alopecia, it's all across Canada. So it's great that this organization is growing and it keeps growing and supports those with affected, like affected with alopecia. Yeah, so there's a lot of support systems. Um, so there's like children meeting other children, so more of like a play therapy, kind of seeing that, you know, you're not the only child that doesn't have hair um, and you're not dealing with cancer or anything like that, like just the different types of feelings in regards to that. They also have parents meeting at the same time because parents who have a child affected with alopecia, they have their own feelings. You know, how do I support my kid? I can't do anything. There's really nothing medically that they could do. Um, CANAF also supports different types of wig places, so they advertise and kind of um, showcase all of the different places that you could go in all of Toronto and Simcoe County and anywhere that they're aware of. 
um, as well as different suggestions in regards to eyebrows and things like that. Um, and then they also have, they do have some medical size as well. So just kind of education on what type of research is happening right now with alopecia um, and where you could go to get any type of trials that are happening and things like that. And then they do once a year, uh, like a three day conference where everybody comes together. So this year it was in Toronto. Um, and then they've done Niagara Falls and places like that. And then that's just like a big mass of a uh, party, but you meet so many people that are all connected with alopecia in some way. Well, it's dear and near to my heart because I have seen it start from grassroots and keep growing. Um, but it's just, it's really great to see a lot of people maybe know alopecia, but they don't know a lot of like how somebody's affected because a lot of people could just say, you know, they don't have hair, but they're healthy. Um, in today's society, still with social media and how you look, and everybody's journey is different with alopecia. Uh, I didn't have hair growing up, and then I started wearing hair, like wigs and things like that. So I had to learn how to brush hair, how to use bobby pins and things like that. So that's my journey. But then there's other people who have had hair and started losing their hair when they're 30. They've been married, their spouse, children have only seen them with hair and now they're losing their hair. So I would just say Kanaf is just great in regards to connecting everybody with all of their different journeys, but we all still have similarities and all can really support each other. Yeah, so you can go to Kanaf's website um, and there you could say how it says how to volunteer so you can click on that. Uh, there's mentorship so I'm a mentor so if you want kind of more one-on-one -on -one support you can click on that and suggest and it, it showcases all of us in regards to our stories um, so you can kind of see where you fit and whose story maybe you want to connect with and with that specific person. Uh, it also lists all of the different support groups and things like that. There is an email address if you just have regular inquiries. Um, so the website is the main place that you could start in regards to getting connected with CAF.